Okay. I worked at Domino's and Papa John's. Yeah. And let me tell you, it's the exact same thing. Yeah. The difference is the garlic sauce cup that you can get with Papa John's. They're not pizzerias in the traditional sense. I guess that goes without saying, but they're more like... They're stores, Ezra? They're referred to as stores. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Uh, yeah, they're stores. Yeah. They're kind of like depots. Yeah. It's a depot or a store. It's a pizza outlet. Yeah. Carry out and delivery only. In some ways, it's like a shipping center. Oh, yeah. It's like when you order like two things from Amazon... And one comes from uh, Florida and one comes from Austin. And they probably meet at like a shipping depot in, in Charlotte before, and they package them. I don't know. <laughs> so that's all this stuff comes together at, at a little place in your hometown. And then the pizza comes to you hot. Yep. Really, a Papa John's is a warming station. Yeah. There's the conveyor belt oven. Right. You take the pizza out and then you take it to Cocktails and Dreams. <laughs> Wait, what? Was that Papa John's language? No, you take the pizza to Cocktails and Dreams, which was a popular strip club about, oh. about a half mile up. I wish I could see that. Also, Just Club like... Coco, too. <laughs> so you were delivering a lot of Papa John's to strip clubs? Oh, yeah. So do you get to like go in the back door, or you just like have to pull up up front? There's like some like skeevy dudes waiting, and does like the bouncer know you? He's like... Hey, Jake. <laughs> no, not that level. But uh, yeah, like I would just go in the front and then be like, okay, go around back. Would they ID you? No. I Are was you... 21 then. Yeah, but... Yeah, but I didn't look. I mean, I got ID'd last week. I'm 40. <laughs> right. I told the guy, I was like, I'm 40. Yeah. Whoa. Law is the law. Wait, so you would go in the front door. Are you like walking past the strippers, like mm-hmm. holding a pizza? Mm-hmm. It was usually for the strippers. But not obviously not the stripper on stage. Sometimes. Really? I remember delivering a pizza to Club Coco 2 in Portland at like 3 in the afternoon, like a beautiful summer afternoon. Yeah. And I go and there's no one in there. There's like yeah. a couple old dudes <laughs> at the bar. And I'm like, uh, this pizza is for, oh, Jasmine. Okay, perfect. <laughs> and then I look, and then the, and the bartender's like, okay, well, just have a seat at the bar. Jasmine will be with you uh, in a few minutes when the song is over. Because I look <laughs> she's over. She's on stage? And she, no, she's giving a lap dance to a dude. Yeah. It's like some like mystical song or something. That yeah. ends. The guy is like feeling it so hard. He throws out another 20. Oh, no. The next song starts up. And I'm like hanging out. I'm literally wearing a Papa John's green windbreaker. <laughs> <laughs> and like a pink polo shirt. Three in the afternoon. And so the next <laughs> song starts. And then I think some other bartender came in and was just like, all right, I'll just cover that for Jasmine. And it gives me like a 20. Oh, really? Yeah. I was hoping that you're going to just have to walk over <laughs> mid lap dance and be like, uh, Jasmine, yeah, excuse me, sir. Sorry to interrupt. That'll be nine ninety five. I got your meat lovers combo. <laughs> well, shout out to Jasmine. I mean, yeah, people got to remember that, like, you know, stripping's a job like any other. Yeah. And I think the bartender did not want to break the spell. I didn't think, the, you know, I think the bartender did not want to just shout out like, Jasmine, your pizza's here. Right. The bartender wanted like me to kind of lay back, be discreet, not shatter the fantasy for the man. Right. Because getting, getting the lap dance. Yeah, because pr- I guess part of a strip club is creating this kind of like fantasy where people fantasy. Yeah, people just want to be be in the moment. Mm-hmm. They don't want to think about their own life. They don't want to think about the performer's life. And you know, eating a Papa John's pizza is such a basic part of life that yeah, that would definitely break the spell. Uh, so anyway, shout out to all the hardworking strippers out there and the and the patrons too, because it's a whole ecosystem. And shout out to the pizza delivery guys, the unsung heroes of, of yeah, the, man. the strip world. 3 p.m. Shake your face.